guys welcome to my channel next tutorial and in today's video I'm gonna be helping you on how to fix your Dell computer with the error screen as Dell um, no bootable device found on your Dell computer and this tutorial works on most of your Dell laptops and as you see in the screen every time you turn the computer on it'll go it's gonna be stuck on the screen a lot of times um, is your hard drive is the issue but we're gonna be doing a few steps to determine what's wrong and if the, those two steps does not work it basically need a new hard drive so the first step is you will need to restart your computer and you're gonna have to press F12 so let's start uh, with that so you power off the computer then you're gonna be tapping on F12 a few times just keep pressing keep tapping until the Dell logo comes up you'll see a load up bar underneath it that's when you release a menu will come up then you want to scroll down to where it says diagnostics when you get to that press the enter key on the keyboard then it will load up the uh, diagnostic uh, screen and it's, this will take 25 uh, 15 to 25 minutes when you see this uh, color screen is basically just have to confirm say yes whatever the message on the screen says you click on that then the diagnostic will start I'm just gonna fast forward uh, the process to get to the um, result of the testing then we're going to do the second step on how to fix this issue. test um, came back as nothing was uh, there's no problems with the laptop and um, there's an additional testing you could do you could press yes if you want to it will take about an hour that's what it says on the message what I'm going to be doing um, I'm most likely just gonna hit no then I'm gonna show you the second step on how we can fix this issue um, if you want to do the extra testing that's up to you but for me I'm just gonna click on no so and we're gonna it says all done just uh, all test uh, processed that you wanna click OK then you wanna restart your computer and press the F2 key which is that's our second step so you can either go on the top left cor uh, right corner which says exit or you can just press the power key if that gives you any issues you can just restart then press the F2 so if it gives you any issues or stuck just power the computer off then power it back on and press the F2 key same thing you see the load up under the Dell uh, logo just release the button now this um, screen will come up and what we're gonna be doing we're gonna do we're gonna go to say boot uh, list on some computers will be called boot uh, list or boot sequence then when it's under legacy 
you can uh, select the other option underneath it. Um, if it wasn't legacy, you can choose the, uh, the bottom one and hopefully that will fix the issue. But before you do that, you want to go to where it says secure boot and you want to make sure it's disabled, not enabled before you uh, change that setting. So it's disabled, you go to boot sequence, then we're going to pick the second um, option. We're going to apply that setting. So you click on apply, then you want to press OK. <laughs> Once you do that, it's going to ask you to restart your computer um, in a second. Or actually press exit, then it's going to restart. Once the computer boots up, then you'll be able to tell if the steps worked or not. We're going to find out right now if it fixed mine. Here you go. Um, it fixed my computer. I have an encryption on my, um, my laptop, as you see, and it actually worked. And if you found this tutorial helpful to you guys, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe my channel for more videos. And thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.